On a Saturday in May of 2012, I had an intense mirror moment, what I like to call it. I looked at myself in the mirror and I didn't really like what I saw. So I didn't look fat, but I had a fat belly and that bothered me. So how many of you have had a mirror moment like this? You looked at yourself in the mirror and you didn't like what you saw. All right. So after seeing the chubby side of me, I decided to completely transform this into the so-called six-pack abs, all right? Now, my initial motivation was purely cosmetic. I wanted to look hot. I wanted to get attention. I wanted to get compliments. I wanted to really change my body. But I learned very quickly that before I changed my body, I first needed to change my mindset. Now, change is difficult, despite what we see on the TV, read in many self-help books, and hear from many motivational speakers all around the world. Lose weight, build muscles in no time, they say. Simply, this is not true. Change is difficult in itself, but the change of mindset is the most difficult change. With a positive attitude, a good nutrition plan, and a good exercise plan, I was able to change my body into a lean and healthy one. And yes, I got the six-pack abs that I wanted. That's me now. All right, thank you. <laughs> now, I won't bore you with a long lecture on how to get fit and how to get abs, but what I will say is that I did change my diet. I did heavy-duty cardio five days a week for one to two hours per day. But I think what really helped me the most throughout this journey was my slayinator attitude, as I like to call it. It's spelled S-L-A-Y-I-N-A-T-O-R. Slayinator, like what is that, right? I made up this word, so you're not gonna find it in the dictionary, and I define a slayinator as one who overcomes any obstacle. Think of it as slaying the challenge. That's pretty much what the slayinator does. Now, I must admit, I did face a few challenges. For instance, I love eating chocolate ice cream. Eating chocolate ice cream was like a ritual for me. I would have chocolate ice cream every single night after dinner, five scoops, for as long as I can remember. Imagine that for a second, five scoops. I'm not even kidding. Giving up chocolate ice cream was difficult, believe me. I, I told myself, once I achieved my goal, of getting a six pack, I would have chocolate ice cream once per week, but not now. The change was hard. I felt like my nights weren't even worth looking forward to anymore because I couldn't have the ice cream that I wanted. But slowly, day by day, I reached the point where I wasn't even craving ice cream anymore. Exercising was not that easy either. I was out of school mid-June, and the last thing I wanted to do during my summer vacation was to follow a rigid exercise schedule. Like, who does that? <laughs> it was difficult. I recall once I had an internal dialogue in my head. I was sitting on the couch, and the past me pops up on my left shoulder and says, Mateen, skip the cardio for the day. It won't even make a difference. Missing one day will not even matter. All right, now the future me comes up my left shoulder and says, Mateen, exercise for today, be consistent, and you will thank me later. All right, it was not always easy listening to the future me, but I did it because I wanted that six pack. I think the most important outcome of my journey was not actually getting those six-pack abs that I originally wanted. It was a lot more than that, I came to realize. It was about learning the value of having a positive mindset, self-control, and feeling an amazing sense of empowerment within yourself. I am the slaynator. I slay obstacles. As a freshman in high school, I know that I need to put my mind into achieving many other goals and I know that I'll face obstacles. And I now know that the almighty slayinator can overcome the most important obstacle of all, his own mind. My mirror moment 
on that Saturday in May of 2012 was about getting fit and developing abs, but right now, my mirror moments aren't like that at all. They may include, they're not just about how I look anymore. They may include changing an attitude or even changing a weakness within myself. I'm on a journey to learning the art of self-awareness, self-empowerment, and owning what I say, what I do, and what I feel. So I'd like to end by asking you all, again, how many of you have had a mirror moment? What did you do about it? How about awakening your inner slayinator? Don't let your own mind be your biggest obstacle, and you will feel that sweet taste of success at the end of the road, even sweeter than chocolate ice cream. Thank you.